How to quickly drop the temperature on an external Western Digital Drive like this, such as this MyBook Duo that's 28 terabyte with two Western Digital Reds in it. And no, taking the top off does not really work. It doesn't affect the temperatures much, slightly. As you can see, this drives at 50 degrees and the top's off. 50 degrees under load, that is. So how do you drop the temperature on your Western Digital external drive? Apart from just turning it off and plugging it. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to drop the temperature, but not of much use if you want to use it. Well, this is how you do it. You need one of these, an external fan, USB powered, low powered. Needs charging in fact. And just stick the fan on top and it will cool your drive, bring, bring the temperatures down rapidly. In fact, this is a fan's running at quite a low power. It is charging. Anyway, it should still be enough to drop the temperatures from 50 degrees. So we've got a little graph there, 50 degrees all the way along. And you can feel, well, I can feel the heat coming off. I can feel some of that air coming back out. You'll see how quickly it drops the temperature. And the fan's only been on for less than a minute, about 30 40 seconds. And this drive is under load. I'm moving files, copying files, about 500 gigabytes to go. Not drop the temperature yet, but I've noticed that the, with the Western Digital Drive there is a delay. You know, the temperature drops and it doesn't register in the sensor straight away. It's a delay about a minute. Once it gets going, it'll drop every minute. At least one degree when under load. So I'm not stopping doing the work that it's doing, like copying files over to it. You should soon see the temperature drop. Oh, 50 degrees though. Anyway, that's what you need. Some form of external USB powered fan. Best thing is that uh, you can just plug it into the computer, maybe even into the duo to power the fan. A small fan. And that should keep it cool. As you're going to see with this fan. Oh well, look, it's dropped 49 degrees. Black, below danger level. But without this fan, this will keep rising in temperature to probably to around 53 degrees. And that's with the top off. But with the top off and the fan attached, even at a very low speed. And this is very low speed for this fan. It could set it higher, but when it's charging, it won't run higher. So I've been using it all day. Now you can see that temperature drop to 48 fairly soon. Remember, it's under load. It's not like it's idle. It's fighting, it's throwing cold air into the system. Still warm air coming out. Look, it's dropped to 48 now. 48 degrees, that's up there, the, the graph. There we go, you can see the drop there. From 50 to 49 to 48. It's gonna keep dropping all the way to below, to below 40. That's what we can do over the next few minutes. 48. Anyway, that's how you quickly drop the temperature of your Western Digital Drive all whilst continuing to use it as is under load. You've not cut the load, you've not done anything, any other change, just stuck a fan on top. And if you're wondering, up there, are you still copying files over? If you're wondering, does taking the top off cool it? 
it has yes it does have some effect but very mild it, it's not gonna prevent you reaching the hot temperature it'll just take longer to get there however with the fan on top it's gonna start cooling it right look now it's dropped to 47 now let's update the graph again yeah see it's dropping it's actually probably dropped more but it takes it it doesn't register the temperature change straight but it's cool up here so I can hit, feel the cool air blowing back up from the fan while this is sucking out warm but it's dropped significantly the temperature is significantly lower now yeah, so those temperatures are going to continue to drop this crystal disc yeah, that needs updating Hard to do you wanna 46 degrees now come on here we go 46 degrees it's just gonna continue dropping now so hopefully one degree a second is registering but this feels now significantly cooler than what it was when before I put the fan on and here it's cold very cool here it's, it's warm but it's not as warm as it was well here it's cool that's from this basically a kiddies fan USB powered and it's on very low because it's battery's low he's charging but it does the job it's cooled this 28 terabyte tw twin 14 terabyte my book duo from going well above 50 degrees it's now falling and falling no it's going to go down to 45 in a second come on Oh, it's there. It's gone. 45 degrees. It's going to continue dropping all the way to below 40, which is ideal. You know, below 40. Up to 45. Well, at 50 is the danger level. Because then you're, you're shortening its life. No matter what they say. Western Digital, anyone says, once your temperature start going over 50, it's shortening the drive's life. You can't say how, by how much, but it will be. The higher the temperature, the shorter the life, and the greater the risk of sudden failure, especially if you're seeing above 55. Now, I don't like seeing drives over 50. I, like, I prefer to see them well it depends on the drive mechanical drives they should be under 45 SSDs yeah you can get away with under 55 SSDs and NVMe 2's but mechanical drives should be really under 45 and this because of the bad design Western Distance it is a bad design if drives run to underload up 50 and above that's bad design what they should have done is put another small fan on top of this yeah they got a fan here which is good because without that it'd be even worse but there should be a second fan pushing air in this one's pulling air out should have one pushing air in but they haven't but this simple solution you could get a more permanent fix like attach a fan and connect it to a USB. It's somewhat small, underpowered. You want it you don't want need it running at 2000 RPM. Something like 400 RPM would be enough to cool uh, something like this. You know, you don't need to go crazy. Cheap. The main thing is that you can regulate its speed so it runs silent as this one doesn't. Obviously this one isn't made to run silent. At full speed it's quite loud but as you can see the temps are already dropping 
what is it now what is 43 degrees now 43 see if I can update the graph there we go that's the graph updated there we go there's crystal disc info 43 it's gone from 50 to 43 roughly at one degree per minute and it's gonna keep falling I'll keep going, I'll go below 40, 39, 38, 37. Well, it's a pretty quick way to drop the temperatures on your Western Digital Drives whilst keeping them under load. Can't think of any quicker way apart from turning it off, that would be quick. That would instantly drop the temperature. Turning or killing the task that you're doing. Oh, they're still chugging away, copying files over. Oh, well, as the temperature continues to fall, it's going to go 42 in a second. And then on its way to below 40. So there, there are lots of, oh, it's 42 now. So there are lots of options for these types of fans out there you know obviously you want the square ones that are made for hardware PC hardware small fans that you just put on top you can even probably just tape it on top permanently obviously you need the top off yeah, and that would do that would keep it cool well cool and extend its life otherwise without this fan well, if you had a cover on, it'd be a, at least, well, it'll get to the same temperature, but quicker. All taking the cover does, is, is it takes it slightly longer to get to the same temperatures. But it doesn't make much difference in terms of cooling, it's taking the top off. Okay, so now you know what to do. To instantly drop the temperature on your Western Digital Drive whilst keeping it under load. Just get a little fan. There's millions of varieties of fans out there. Like this is just a kid's one to cool them in, to put around the necks. With a little strap there. Put around the necks and cool them. But it works for this. I didn't have to go out and buy a separate fan. Just using what I already got. Obviously, I'm going to look into getting a small, cheap, quiet fan that can regulate the speed of. That's the main thing. You don't want it too fast because it's going to be noisy you want it to be run at a slow rpm so it's quiet something like 400 that will be pretty silent okay so what's the final speed still at 42 so it should continue dropping it's still under load 42, yeah, there we go, 41. There's the curve. It's continuing to drop the temperature. It'll keep going down below 40, probably 36, 35 even. It's gone from the hottest drive to one of the, end up being one of the coolest in this system, or connected to this system. Do remember to subscribe for more videos, new videos, new tips and on tech and how you can solve simple, simply solve solutions to issues that could kill your hardware, shorten its life.